Hey y'all, it's Meerkat. Welcome to Lounge Session 2 of the Meerkat Music Lounge. Hey y'all, how's it going? So today we're going to be messing around with the SP404, which is an amazing sampler that you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff with. Uh, make lo-fi beats, which is actually what we're doing today. We're making a lo-fi beat that's kind of uh, what's well, ultimately going to a kind of hip-hop rap type album that I'm doing. In this case, we're not actually going to have the lyrics. You'll have to stay tuned for the album. Uh, but but yeah, so let's we'll talk through some of the different samples that I made and then uh, build a beat using the 404 and yeah, it'll be awesome. So like, comment, subscribe if you if you enjoy the video and let's do this. Okay, so here we're recording and performing what'll be in drum pad one. Again, this has already been resampled into the pad, but here we go. Oof, and here it is on drum pad one. So here's the sax part that I originally wrote. Uh, full disclosure, I don't actually use this. I end up recording something totally different. But uh, here we go with the raw sample of this, which was the first idea. So again, I don't end up using that, but uh, I still like it, and I'm going to use it for another track on the rap album that this is all going for. Uh, but yeah, that's all part of the process, so this is why we're showing it, you know? Uh, so yeah. Okay, so one of the things that I did uh, to process the dog sounds, that like click clicking sound, was actually, aside from cutting it in the DAW within Logic, which is the DAW that I'm using, the digital audio workspace, uh, pretty much I, I put the sounds in and uh, I'll show you guys here. After cutting and using some delay in Logic, we get this sound. But then we use the 404 to just add a little bit more reverb. Uh, and so that was just using the MFX, so pretty much we resampled it added this effect of reverb and it gave us these two distinct sounds the first one with logic and some delay added to the pad and then with the reverb from here so let's see if you can actually hear it happen in the third pad which we're about to do now okay so here we're going to record what's going to be used for drum pad number three so what you'll see is just the performance of that i already resampled it but here we go Boom. Okay, so it's recent now. It's already been resampled, but here it is on pad three. Okay, so 404 is a sampler. Pretty much here we've added samples, which you can hear me going through. I made these on the computer, so those are some piano sounds. Next ones will be some organ type sounds, uh, but pretty much I made these uh, in the DAW, which uh, was Logic, and then uh, yeah, I, I took uh, those samples, made waves, wave uh, files out of them, and then from there put them into the 404. So that's uh, some orchestral sounds, and then we got a little bit of bass. Oh yeah, um, but yeah. So basically, I'll trigger these samples, and that's how I'll do this performance that you'll see here coming up, uh, and then. We're coming up on the drum pad one that we recorded earlier and drum pad three and then finally the actual saxophone sample that i used so please note this is heavily 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 modified so yeah yeah these are the samples <laughs> 